to Valerie's journey to a healthier lifestyle. I hope you all follow me along in this exciting new journey. So guys, it's Friday and it's time for a lifestyle journey update. So let's see what I weigh in at. Pull my pants up. You weigh less than me. 159.6. Is that what it was? Yep. I'm in the 150 marks. Woo! Yeah. Okay, guys. So here's a little bit of what I've been doing. My doctor, after my first week of surgery, gave me a small list of foods that I was able to eat. I've tried some. I had problems with some. So I backed off and I went more of just my liquid proteins. With my liquid proteins, what I've been drinking was the IsoPure drinks. They come in different flavors. A lot of people do not like these. I don't have a problem with them, so I've been drinking them. I also have my IsoPure liquid powder that I've been using mainly in some mixed in with some foods but I've been drinking the Pr premier protein shakes now this to me is too thick so what I've been doing is I've been mixing it in a blender with ice and some fat free or skim free milk to blend it up make it more like a milkshake type thing and this has enough protein in it so I've been drinking that so that's what I've been drinking for my protein what I've been doing for food one of the foods I'm allowed to eat is mashed potatoes so we bought these little individual or small packets of mashed potatoes I mixed these up I put some of my whey protein mixture in it and then I have chicken broth and when I make my chicken broth I put some chicken in it even though I don't eat the chicken just to give it more flavor and I put more of my protein powder drink or protein powder mix in with it and then I put it over top of my potatoes to make it more mushy more like a soup and that I seem to not have a problem with other things that the doctor had given me told me that I could eat is tuna and salmon I mix these with a little bit of low-fat mayonnaise they're on my list I have a problem with them they seem to hurt my stomach so I've been shying away from these for now but they're very good so um, scrambled egg sometimes I can tolerate it sometimes not tofu don't like tofu low-fat cottage cheese can't seem to tolerate that right now yogurt I'm not a yogurt person so I don't eat that um, those are pretty much the foods that are on the list right now that the doctor told me that I can eat. I have been doing some stuff around the house. I tend to feel very tired very quickly. So I'm hoping that that is just my body still adjusting. Um, my body's still healing. I cleaned today. I was able to get three rooms done and then it was like I'm dead. But I rested for a little while and then I was able to do a little bit more. So I'm hoping that that energy level does come back up. But I did hit into the 150s today which I'm very happy. So when I started the whole process back in March, I was 189. 
today I am 159, so I have lost a total of 30 pounds since March. I'm very excited about that. The day of my surgery, I was 179, and today I am 159, so my surgery was on the 2nd of October, so since then I've lost 20 pounds. Very excited about that. And on November 2nd, I am going to do comparison photos so you guys can see exactly what my body is doing in one month. So, hope you all are still following along with my gastric sleeve surgery and lifestyle journey. And some of you are joining me on that loser bench. Uh, simply Twee. Can't wait to see you there. And I hope you're all enjoying everything. See you next Friday. Bye!